Hi guys, um, spotted this in my local 99p shop, um, sound activated LED light. And I thought I wonder if I can hack that to do something useful with it. First thing I'll do is put some batteries in it and just see how it works. been following quite a few people on YouTube, various little circuit diagrams, uh, looking at clap-on switches and clap-on, clap-off, and I just thought this might be a shortcut. Lights on. I assume it'll go off in a minute. There we are, that's off. That's on. off again. Should have timed it I suppose. Don't know, what was that? Five or ten seconds? It ought to be simple enough to divert the current from the LEDs to something else. Right, I've taken the circuit board out of the light had a look at it. Um, it's very helpful. It, it actually um, tells you the resistance values and what's what actually on the circuit board. So what I've done is I've temporarily um, stuck this little vibrating motor where there was a 10 ohm resistor um, feeding the LEDs. So if I just Act up some batteries. Oh. I have to wait for about ten seconds for it to stop. So it looks like we have the beginning of a, a little hack going here. Right, plan is coming together now. Uh, the plan is I'm going to make uh, a sound operated bristlebug chariot. That sounds a bit fancy. Um, saw something on YouTube a little while ago. Somebody had made one of those bristlebugs out of a toothbrush but it stuck a couple of wheels on the front of it so that it went in a straight line and so I've made these wheels I've cut them out of a credit card or a shop card uh, that's a toothpick um, for the axle so the plan is that's my wheels I'm going to fit them on to my toothbrush somehow. I'm going to have my electric circuit, my clap switch, I suppose is the best way to call it, my vibrating motor, and a couple of batteries to run it, mount it all together, and see if I can get it to go. Right, little side issue or diversion. Been trying to figure out an easy way of mounting a couple of the button cells um, so that I can actually use them for the power. So all I've done is I've left them in the packaging, cut a pair of them out, paper clip, I've cut a loop out of it and what I'm going to do is push that through underneath one side and on top of the other 
so that I'm connecting top to bottom and then poke another one in the opposite sides and feed the power out. Right, that's the finished article. That bit of paper clip goes underneath. That bit of paper clip connects to the top of that one goes underneath that one. And that bit of paper clip obviously goes on the top. So hopefully I should be able to connect to those two points and have six volts coming out. Right, there we are, all assembled. I actually gave up with my idea of my um, wheels that I'd made from the plastic card. I've used a couple off an old toy, uh, just because my wheels weren't round enough. Anyway, assembled. Um, we'll give it a try. not got a lot of power, see it's stuck there, but it works, just about. I expect if I spent a bit more time on it I could make it work better. Time for a summary. So we've got the sound operated light. I bought for a pound. All I've done is stuck the vibrating motor across where the resistor was that feeds the LEDs, glued it on top of a toothbrush, put a couple of wheels on the front just to try and make it go forwards instead of spinning round and round, and used a couple of button cells left in their packaging with bits of uh, paper clip to actually make the connection. So that's off at the moment. Push that in. There we go. That was fun.